Crop failure reported. Pipe leak reported. Crop Resources failure reported straight away. Hey guys, and welcome back to Surviving Mars, where it looks like we're having a little bit of trouble with food here. That is, of course, because we were putting like all our all our powers into polymers to attempt to try and get this apartment built. But that all worked out. We all got it going fine. This apartment is, uh, this apartment, this dome is comfortable enough to be making children. Or at least it was. I'm not sure if they are still. But, you know, that was comfortable enough to making children. This guy over here, we, it's still a mess. I, I just having so much troubles trying to keep this dome balanced here. We should be able to get everybody running, but they I've got a feeling... Basic colonists. I've got a feeling everybody is going to be having a little bit of a meltdown because I pushed them hard yesterday. Uh, I did very, very much. I told them all to get into the polymer workshop and do double shifts and stay in there. Uh, I worked them hard, as hard as I could work them and still legally get away with it. Uh, so now we're dealing with nobody in any of the jobs at all today. So uh, maybe, maybe I've completely done myself over with that. I don't know. Today's episode is to be about this little... Uh, Metal cut, uh, metal node up there. Either that or this double node. I, you know what? I think I'm going to do this double node first. Ah, oh, look at that. This keeps happening. Uh, let's get my drone dude. Let's pop him right here. That way he can take from this metal node here and fix that little uh, break right there. So yeah, I think we're going to build a few things over this way. We're going to turn this into a bit more of a centralized hub. Now, obviously, I'm a little bit worried about this water extractor. Is this how far it throws dust? If that's how far it throws dust, yeah, it's looking pretty good. You know what, I am going to salvage this one for now. Let's do that. That should work out pretty well for me. And go, for not for some pipes, but for some power leads. Because I want to increase the output of this particular area here. Uh, like down to here and across this way. That will work out pretty well for me. It th turns out a lot of things work out well for me recently. I'll have to try and uh, keep on top of that particular... Well, hey! Hello, what are you doing here? Well, that's steam overlay all of a sudden. I didn't need that. Didn't even ask for it. Uh, shift and click is what I'm doing down here. Right, brilliant. Let's put this entire solar array into place. Hopefully this guy has finished what he was doing over there, and then we can bring it back over and get him working on these other jobs. Now, the next thing I need to do is start thinking about where we're going to put a next dome. I know, crazy, already thinking about more domes. I don't know whether we're going to have the geologists and engineers to be able to deal with this, but uh, we'll, we'll soon find out. <sighs> this, is, this is not where I want to be, be putting it. I, I really want to build this one over here. This, this is... This is what I want. It's what I really, really want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that go down there. Uh, we're gonna figure Sector out how to do. Let's, let's have a look. We've got a drone hub that overlaps here. I think this will be a good place to put down maybe another drone hub over here, so that we can collect from the universal storage that I'm now going to put. So if we did those drone hubs, let's just click on this one again, and it should show us, yeah, this nice little overlapping section here. So what I'm going to do is put down a bunch of storages, universal storages indeed. We'll go for three, just like that, and then these guys should start moving all the surplus that we have. Oh look, they just stole it from my transport, dude. How dare you? How dare you? The surplus that we have over this way, to make it available for these guys, then what we need to do is think about how we're going to do a, our own little power system over here, which means almost everything I just did here was rubbish. Let's uh, let's just salvage all of this. I've wasted a little bit of metal, but I think we'll be okay. I'll leave a few of these running because I will eventually need to actually get up here and uh, harvest these resources. But for now, we're going to put some new stuff over here. Let's unpause that. I don't, I don't need this. Uh, let's have ourselves a bunch of wind turbines. 24-hour uh, power seems the winner there. Uh, there, there, and there should give us enough power to get going with if we're lucky. Power cables across like so. Okay, these all getting filled in. That's nice. If we can then use this little asset. Wait, we should have another one somewhere. The Beagle. And I've named him wrong. I named it wrong. I'm sorry about this, guys. It's actually the Beagle 2. The Beagle, of course, was Charles Darwin's ship that went around the Galapagos Islands and stuff like that, right? The Beagle 2 is the British British um, expedition to Mars for an astrobiology mission. They were trying to see if they could detect any life. It turns out a couple of the uh, solar panels didn't deploy. We've got... Uh, uh, pictures from the is it high rise is that the name of the martian imager mission uh and we got some pictures from there and it was like oh look it the ante the solar panel didn't deploy and it blocked the antenna and that's why we couldn't make contact with it 
terrible right terrible gotta gotta work on that hinge science that's where it all uh, comes from so this wasn't quite far enough let's go a little bit further along we need to make sure that this and the drone hub are both inside the catchment area there nice nice now i've been looking at this atomic accumulator you can see how this is a power accumulator atomic accumulator it sounds pretty fun right but we are quite a far way through our research queue already so i think we're gonna have to wait up for that i mean the sterling generator would be a nice one to get uh now what are we gonna get this dome doing obviously its first priority is to get the metal node there uh and then eventually it will swap over to a rare metals node but right now yeah metals are the way forward does this have what it Need. No, it doesn't have what it's needing. What 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 are we missing here, guys? What are we missing here? You know what? I don't actually want this. Stop, stop, stop. I don't actually want this holding fuel. No, not not even slightly. Actually, now that I think about it, we will want to have a landing area somewhere around here for our first set of colonists. So, so right now, we will have fuel there, but it's not going to be uh, a big thing. Where, where are you going? What are we missing here for this? Is of course concrete and machine parts now metal's getting put down pretty quickly oh i also noticed this earlier on if we have a look that this no longer works because there's no deposit so let's uh let's tell that to get blown up sector and get scan. out of here sector scan we are getting very close to opening this all up i'm just gonna start on the outside edges and work my way in because it's gonna it's gonna build uh tension and excitement as we do that right yeah that's that's what we that's what we care about around here uh somewhere i should be able to look at this uh can we blow that up now please it's gonna work i think it's gonna work i think it's gonna work amazingly well for us get in there watch it go bam any any second bam okay cool so i could try and build another concrete extractor here because at some point we're going to run out of concrete right that that is a thing that we that needs to be taken into account just having a look around are there any other concrete patches other than these two up here of course i mean this one is prime prime for taking over but it does put a whole load of dust on all our stuff that that is the big problem there i don't think i'm that bothered about it i don't think i'm that bothered we'll uh, see what we can do so I noticed we're getting a bit of a dependency on this area for the other two domes. I think it would make a very smart choice to make a new sector here where we make more oxygen and more water. I'm not sure about the water. The water obviously comes from all the way over here. We have to make do with what we've got. Maybe a new fuel depot as well. We can get polymers being kicked off somewhere else. I'm kind of hoping that eventually we're going to have it so these guys... Ooh, you're on a minimum. Cable fault reporting. Mm, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that eventually we're going to eat through all this metal, which looks like it's going to happen relatively shortly, at which point all our geologists ha hand over to here. And at some point, this will only become a polymer's place. Uh, there will be no other way of shifting stuff around, of uh, getting materials even. <laughs> that's that's what, I'm, what I'm meant to say, of course. Right, so this is working. We've got the drones. The power accumulator probably wouldn't go amiss here, at least just the one to make sure we can keep that ticking over i like these little depots that we're going to end up having spread around everywhere I, I like the idea of having distributed materials so now that we've done that if i was to say want to have another drone hub so it overlaps that i mean we could could get it here that's a good overlap and then i don't have to worry about Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. We don't have to worry about trying to keep the place connected um, using our little dude here. The, the repairs for our pipes. Let's let's break it down and get right down to right back to the beginning the repair for these pipes here have to happen from a roving repair groups. But if we get this all fixed up, it should mean that we have drones covering the whole sector. So if we come out. Ooh, it's a bit scary. Let's try it this way instead. Come across like this, and then somewhere we should be able to join up. Oh, there's one block out. That, that's that's good, though. That's good. All right, let's not have that doing that. There we go. Brilliant. All right. Now someone needs to make all this stuff, which means we're going to have to come back here, pick up the metals that are in this deposit here, distribute them around. We've got two Earth sick colonists. Wow. Why, why is that a thing? What's wrong? Do you, do you not love this place? Do you not love this place? 
10 residents there, 12 residents, 14 residents there. We'll have to try and do something about that. These guys are actually going to try and go home as soon as possible. Uh, so we won't we won't get a rocket back. We won't get a, pa a, a passenger rocket. It's as simple as that. We won't give them the opportunity to leave until we've made their place lovely and great. Uh, so now these are ripping down all the metal nodes around. That's fine. I can definitely live with that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I feel like we need a new depot here not quite as uh, extensive as the one we just saw just a single universal depot there would probably do wonders for making sure everything moves around like these metals can now be moved over this way or we can have metals come back that way including things like the machine parts I really don't like what's going on here really don't we, like we've had a day or two for everything to balance out right Let's just make sure that nothing's on a high priority sucking up all the people. I don't think so. No medium. Like even even if the hydroponics was on high priority, it shouldn't be draining all the people. It must it must just be the fact that everybody had a bit of a, a weird day yesterday. I hope so anyway. I'm gonna um, take a moment to have a look at a few of these stats and try and figure out what's going on here. So it's telling me here that the problem we've got is that we have nowhere to go shopping, nowhere to be social, and medical checks can't be done. Well, the medical checks can't be done because everybody doesn't want to work. But nowhere to go shopping and nowhere to be social. I've got a feeling we can do both at the same time. Luxury and shopping? No. Shopping and gaming? No. I was kind of hoping for shopping and social. Uh, luxury, gaming, gambling, social? No, no. Ex exercise, social. Social food? Oh, that's um, relaxation, drinking, shopping. So that there's only there was only one shopping bit there, wasn't there? Oh, we got the food shopping, so it must just be the social that we're missing. And to do so, I'm going to do the open air gym. It gets the social and the exercise. We also could have done the diner, but we've also got, we've already got somewhere doing food, and that also does shopping. So that's one of the things we needed to keep hold of. And I, I, as I keep saying, I don't like the idea of the casino. I might even outlaw gambling in my place if I can. Oh, we've got a bad. Oh, we have got a bad. If this is now run out, that means that nothing else can do anything. Uh, do we have enough electronics scattered around the area, though? No. No, we do not. This is very, very bad. Uh, however, we do have enough of this stuff going on. Are you just out or you're on, on, on? Off. There we go. All right, cool. That, that That's what I did wrong there. But that should be fine. Shouldn't take too long to build those stocks back up at all. Okay, we definitely have a problem here. We're going to have to try and order in some more electronics. That's not how you order in more electronics. We also need to try and get more people. How many electronics can we get? We could just like buy an absolute bucket load here. I might try that. Um, get some. No, I don't need machine parts. Machine parts are definitely not the thing that needs to go there. Let's get a few uh, polymers though. Any prefab buildings would do as well. I don't actually think we need any. I can build drone hubs. Drone hubs now some moisture evaporators we're not quite at the point where we're making them but I've got enough in a stockpile sterling generators are doing okay as well simple the same sort of idea drone concrete material I literally that's all I want that's all I want can we just have that come in and load uh, at the same time we're gonna have to start thinking about some sort of cargo uh, not cargo some uh, passenger replacement service over here because almost everybody who's homesick at the moment is actually senior and outside of the workforce anyway uh, polymers are thankfully being ordered that's good filtered by traits uh, age group let's have a look right that's no no that's not age group age group uh if we look down here they're all old 13 of them are old that's why we do not have anybody to come back in can we uh have a look at these and see what we get what oh no no that's that's not help this isn't a search function it's just a us no, to select colonists okay that's uh, bab chow I mean, that's all good, but what were you? You were a botanist. Do you carry on being a botanist or not? Uh, so botanist, 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 scientist. As it is, we don't need that many botanists, right? We only need three for the for the area. Scientist, scientist, no specialization, no specialization. Medic, engineer, geologist, geologist. Man, there's a lot. It would probably be quicker to sort by what we have seen. I will be back when I think I know what's going on here. All right, are you guys ready for this? So... 
Taking the polymer factory and the electronics factory into account, we need 16 engineers. We need four medics. We need three botanists. We need three scientists. And we need eight geologists just to do one shift. We have two engineers, a medic, and a geologist working. So uh, we, we definitely need to get on a top of that. So let's go to the resupply screen. Let's go to passengers. Thankfully, we have access to a lot, and I do mean a lot of rockets here. So what I'm going to do is come through and turn all of this off for now. I'm actually going to clear everything if I can. Okay, cool. Uh, age group. I don't want seniors. We're, we're trying to not bring seniors. And let's forget about the middle ages as well. We, we, we kind of want to bring in people who are old enough to be able to help us. Young enough to be able to help us. A long-term investment, if you will. Engineers. We've only got 14. Why? Why? I've turned everything off. Age group. I, I, I just need enough to get going. I just need enough to get going. Let's have a look now. Uh, engineers. So we can get 14 of the 16. So we'll take all of those. I mean, literally all of those. Medic, three of the four. We'll take all of those. Botanist. Oh, we get, get, got a, a little bit extra botany on the go there. Uh, scientists. We've got a few more of those. That's good. And geologists. Uh, we're going to need all of those. Okay, so botanists are not... Uh, fine engineers all of them geologists all of them medic all of them we probably want a couple of no's well anyway let, let's have a look at what we've got here and see if we can actually do anything with that if i uh, just say no to everything that's 23 that's already enough to just send them all let alone the fact that i actually do want a couple of botanists and i do want a couple of scientists Okay, so the botanists are probably the most important to get started with, if we think about it, because they're the ones that do all the food, right? So let's have a look down the bottom here. Loner, fit, not so worried about that up here. We've got melancholic, no. Uh, fit celebrity, generates funding when, when in the colony. It will take you. You seem like a good botanist. So that's number one of... What? Yeah, yeah. we need all the botanists, so one of three. Uh, what else can we get here? Erwin Presley, religious, that's fine, I'm not that bothered. Uh, chronic condition, let's not do that. I'm just trying to find people that actually have like uh, major pop, uh, positives going for them. Uh, ideally without, you see how this one's got the plus gaming? Ideally without any of those, because they're the ones that seem to take the most management. That set. Oh, that one was a tourist. Ew. No, no, we're not taking a tourist. We will take this one, though. Uh, how many is that? That's two. We need one more. Oh, I don't, no, actually, I don't want one that's a gamer, because that means I've got to put gaming places in, which uh, equates to an electronics place. Though the fit, we can do that one, because we're putting in exercise areas. Uh, and then up here, wine are lazy. Not so much for that. We'll take a sexy one. I, I do like the idea of a sexy botanist. Okay, so that's the botanist dealt with. Four medics. Let's have a look if we've actually got four medics. Chronic condition and lazy. I'd prefer not, if at all possible. Medic down here. Hippie, sexy. Does eat a lot of food, though. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. Um, looking down even further. What have we got here? A religious one. That's fine. Um, looking further down. Senior, senior. Mm, there should be more. We wanted to just take all the medics, didn't we? If I remember correctly, a any medic, give them a tick. Medic, medic. Uh, I think there's one more somewhere in here. Medic. Okay, so that that's that's all three medics taken care of, even though we just need one more. Uh, because there, there's not one more out there. That's unfortunate. Uh, geologists are probably a good idea, or do we just fill this up with engineers now? Let's have a look at the engineers, see if there's any that we don't want to take. Uh, survivor, chronic condition, that's fine. Really, lazy is the one we're trying to not get. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, are we just going to fill up, or am I going to take two geologists now? Let's take a geologist there and a geologist there yeah we'll go, we'll go with that and we'll, we'll take clark clark has got a few things going for it so let's launch and see if we can get these guys 
here. All right, let's 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 do another quick round of this because obviously, senior, I mean, that, that doesn't help. Uh, specialization is engineering, but that, that's that's not what we want. You're, you're no help to me. Uh, so I want to just kind of fill up with engineers. And, well, I say fill up. I need about 10 of them, so we can bring a couple of geologists with us as well. Are you good enough to be with us? You're not. You're not good enough. Are you bad enough to turn away? No, I don't think so. Glutton maybe, though. Clutton, maybe. Hypochondriac. We've got a medical place. That's fine. We can definitely deal with that. Uh, engineers are the thing, though. Idiot, nerd, vegan. Uh, I'll, I'll take a skip on that one. Uh, gamer sexy. I want to skip the gamer if possible because we don't have anything for them. Uh, engineer. Hippie idiot. Nope, not down for that. Uh, gamer alcoholic. Gamer. Hmm. Looks like I might have to start just taking some of these slightly less than desirable uh, engineers as we are running out of ones to take with them. Can cause a malfunction at workplace. I, don't, I really don't want the, the idiots. That just seems like a bad idea, you know? Seems like a bad idea. I'll take a sexy gamer vegan, though. Okay, and Chin Lu here is probably the last one we're gonna take. Uh, what else do we have room for here? I, I need more geologists. More geologists are the thing. Party animal sounds good. Alcoholic gambler? Uh, we'll, we'll give that one a miss. Uh, Hypochondriac? We've got, we've got a medical facility, so them being able to go there and just kind of get themselves looked at is fine by me. Uh, is, that it? is that all the geologists that we have ready to go? Are we just going to send out a, a one of nine? I wish I'd put the, uh, the non-specialization people in. That would probably make this a lot easier. Oh, I don't want to do this all again. I'll bring you guys back when this is all gone. <laughs> okay, I think we've got this. Mainly geologists, engineers. I do have uh, at least one no specialization, two no specializations. Do I really want the whiner and loner non specializations? I don't think I do. Let's see if we can find like that hippie celebrity. That seems like a good person to take with us. Did we lose our hippie, uh, our celebrity? Um, engineer. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Man, these guys, some of these are bad. Like, look at this one. He's a tourist and he's also lazy. Ew. Uh, coward, hypochondriac, idiot. I, I don't want an idiot. I never want an idiot on team. That that means that we're gonna... Oh, let's, let's get a hippie. Okay, that looks good. Oh, that's one too many. Well, launch! <laughs> wow, so many rockets on the way. I have never seen so many rockets. That probably means that this one, Perseverance, I mean, that's that's not what we're gonna call it. Can I can I change this? This is gonna be the, uh, the, the banks. Obviously, M banks. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a power outage over here. It's knocked out my drone. It's, it's the fact that we're running out of electronics. Uh, so we're going to get the, the Beagle here to come over and try and fix stuff up for us. That uh, should work out. The fact that he's only got two drones is going to be awkward. Uh, I'm hoping that he'll take control of all the other ones there while he's around. Maybe these guys will be like, oh, there's someone else to jump onto, and they'll do that. Uh, but anyway, we're waiting for these these passenger robots. Uh, passenger robots? Passenger passenger um, craft to get in. Oh, and also Asimov with the uh, the ridiculous cargo that I ordered. Okay, Asimov ready for landing. I'm just going to drop him down here because then he can help, his drones can help out with all the heavy lifting around here and make sure that the dome keeps going. Oh, that that's exactly what I was worried about. It's not because of you, is it? No. I, I know colonists are departing. It's okay. I, I was expecting this. This is why we've got so many other colonists inbound. Uh, and it's not because the place is rubbish. No, 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 no. It's just because they are old enough to want to leave, right? Yeah? Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Um, okay. Well, just got a few more things to do here, and I think we'll be ready to wrap up. I was kind of expecting building this dome to be the wrap-up point of our episode here, but uh, no, it turns out that I had far more important things to try and figure out, like why people keep on wanting to leave my planet. Just going to turn this next dome off for a little bit. I feel that might be a little bit overkill for what we're after. Uh, going to bring this guy down. Ooh. Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd still have a little bit of room here. Do I want to actually dismantle this? Let's try it. Let's see what happens if we can fit this all in here. Uh, it'd be pretty nice if we could. Just, just, just like that. There's still stuff in the way, guys. Come on, there's still stuff in the way. I know there's a lot of fuel that you need to move, and I'm not sure what you're going to do with that. Let's get you to come along and pick this lot up, if we can. That, that'd be pretty good. 
Where, where are you? I'm not even sure where it's at at the moment. He's gonna gonna have a long way to travel, but when he does pick all that up, that will be great. He's here somewhere. Where up? Opportunity. What are you doing? Come on. Move, 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 move. Pick all those up. Cable fault re reported. There's always cable faults. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, just waiting for him to pick those up. Can I spin this around and then pop it down there? Okay, there's only one blocking object. That should be fine. Of course, Spirit himself or Opportunity himself is in the way. Is that better? There we go. Right, we've got room. We've got room. Hopefully, we're going to have enough uh, fuel to start sending these guys back relatively quickly. This guy's ready for takeoff. He's empty. All right, let's send out Asimov back and home, if you may, please. Are you going? You are going. That leaves us one left to drop down. I know. Oh, only two of them departed. That's that's all right, though. That's all right. So can we now pop this down? It still reckons that that exists. So let's... Uh, Let's do this and let it let it try again. Okay, there we go. And this should hopefully fill my colony up with the appropriate people, hopefully. Uh, 16 out of 40, that's good. Are these guys going to offload over here? That, that would be good, and that should get us a, a little bit quicker on the offloading of fuel into the ships. I'm loving the fact that now we only need to uh, fuel up by 40, so that's pretty good there. Why are you still turned off? Because I don't have any any scientists at the moment. That's fine. Oh, wow, nearly a full shift there. We've got botanists on the go. Why, why do we have botanists there? Botanist, no specialization botanist. Right, you, you should go work over there instead. De definitely the the way to work there uh now that we've got that can we get the botanist back uh look for you it's got to be close no you must have moved by now you've not moved by now so where have you gone botanist 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 geologist geologist engineer that's a bit of a shame what was this last guy engineer as well i mean it's good that they're mainly engineers in there that that's very good are you already ready to go no, you've got to get the food off of you first. We've got to get that food off of you first. Ah, look at them running around doing exercise. I knew it was a good idea to put that there. Also, I knew it was a good idea to bring all these colonists back because, man, my dome is just ticking over well now. Look, we've got nearly a full shift inside the, uh, the polymer factory, nearly a full shift inside the electronics factory. Very few of them non-engineers and uh, the ones that aren't are non-specialized, not, not supposed to be somewhere else. Okay, cool. We've got all our botanists working in there. All right. It, that, wow. That was a bit of a mission trying to get that right. Uh, the part in colonists are going. That's fine. Let's try and get Clark out of here. Still nowhere to put the food. Are we, we actually fully overladen here is this the problem should imagine so well we've only got two down there uh, and there's none over here but that's okay we're not we're not expecting should we start stockpiling food down this way it might be an idea if we do that and then also do machine parts need to be here because we've got a uh the the extractor the extractor is the one that needs the machine parts polymers and machine parts are definitely needed okay that that should be pretty good that should now get these guys moving everything further down making more room in the main uh outlay bases Okay, there we go. The clerk is empty and ready to go. Let's get you out of here. Go on, man. Go, go, go. Be gone with you. Seriously, it takes you guys so long to get off my planet. Oh, go. Leave. I want, I want to take more time to look at this place. Meteor shower incoming. Where's it going to start? Does it tell us? It doesn't. That just takes us to the wiki page. That's that's not great. That's not what I'm after. We're offloading all the food here. We've already got enough fuel to get going. That must mean this polymer factory is absolutely saturated. It is. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's, that's very good good as well so we've got polymers being churned out we've got electronics being churned out but we could do with churning them out a little bit faster i've got to say we've got to try and figure something out with that we've got to get some more engineers here three more engineers we're going to go around at some point possibly the beginning of next episode and rebalance the workforces make sure that everything that we need to have we do actually have what's going on down here so these guys they're not um not making babies anymore i wish i knew why that's definitely one for next episode uh, very much okay we've got all the food out oh, it's not it's not quite all the food out can we have those last four going is this a full pallet that's a full pallet Do we literally have nowhere to put any food okay well reported oh, thanks nice i just want to get these last four bits of food look 
someone could transport this all the way down here you, you could you could transfer all the food all the way down here i don't think it's going to work it needs to be drones from this place because they're the ones that overlap Okay, that's the last bit of food gone from the M banks. Let's send him home. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this mess of an adventure. Today, we thought that we were going to be opening a new dome, but no, we ended up needing to try and figure out our colonist situation because what do you know? People get old and die in this game. Ah, complexity. But anyway, I will see you next time when we're going to try and get that dome open, but we're also going to make sure that everything is working with these two domes so that we don't run into those sorts of problems again. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!